Welcome back to Yosemite Science. Have you ever wondered what black bears eat this time of year here in Yosemite? Well, my name is Marty Anderson, and I'm a naturalist with Yosemite Conservancy, and I'm here to help you answer that question. So, unlike what Hollywood would have you believe, most black bears are not huge carnivores, and uh, they are not vicious killing machines. They, in fact, are mostly vegetarian. In the early spring, when the bears are first waking up, there isn't very much for them to eat. Really, the only options they have are out here in the meadow. They live off of grasses, roots, and bugs. And one of the sources of bugs or insects is these dead logs. And so the bears will rip up the logs to get at all the insects inside of them. Here we have the wild raspberries here in Yosemite, and they are native to Yosemite, and the bears absolutely love them. They have these white, pale stems, and the raspberries usually ripen sometime in the middle of summer, um, and the bears have a very dexterous lips and tongue, and they'll just pluck the raspberries right off the vine. You can actually find bear poop over by the raspberry fields that are packed full of seeds and are psychedelic purple from eating all of the raspberries all day long. And this time of year, the black bears actually live mostly off of these little things. The acorns, mostly from the black oaks, which we have right here behind me. Black bears need an incredible amount of calories every single day. And this right here is about 50 to 100 calories. And how many calories does a black bear actually need every single day? It's somewhere in the ballpark of about 20,000 calories every single day. So that's 11 and a half pounds of acorns every single day, or it's 100 pounds of raspberries every single day, or it's 40 Big Macs or 93 Snickers bars or nine large pizzas, which is why they like our food so much because it has so much salt, fat, and sugar inside of it. So food storage is incredibly important here in Yosemite National Park because once a bear gets a taste for our food, it changes the bear forever. So imagine if you've been eating acorns your whole life and then all of a sudden you have pizza, you ain't going back to acorns. And so that is why it is so important to practice proper food storage in Yosemite is so that we can keep these creatures living as natural life as possible. We want them eating the acorns every day during the fall, not your french fries and pizza. Today we've talked about what a black bear's natural diet is here in Yosemite. And while you're here in the park, always remember to practice proper food storage, never feed or approach wildlife, and enjoy wildlife from a distance. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in Yosemite someday.